if you'd like to check out the conversation I had with Jeff Purser about uh, his um, escapades into making a movie about Les Norton and uh, the roadblocks that he came across on the way, as well as uh, trying to make a movie about Les Norton, uh, this very interesting man, Jeff Purser, has also been responsible for saving the Sydney Rabbitohs from extinction in the National Rugby League um, fixtures. Uh, Mr Purser uh, led a campaign to bring the club back to life um, or stop it from going under and he was successful in doing that. Uh, so the bunnies are still with us. Thank you so much Mr Purser and uh, right now I'll let you in on a little bit of a conversation that uh, Mr Purser and I had. Um, I won't play the whole thing because um, there are some intimate moments that he shared in, you know, regarding his meeting of Bob Barrett, and uh, I think I'll, I'll leave, leave him uh, with those memories, and um, I'll just play a few, a few snippets um, here and there that, uh, that I guess highlighted some of the struggles Jeff had with bringing the Les Norton movie to life. Primarily, I want to make a feature film yes. that you wouldn't be dead for quid. About one particular book. You wouldn't be dead for quid. Gotcha. Yeah. So particularly that book, because that's, that's the book that I think had this, the most cultural sort of cachet to it. And, yeah, sure. And, and, and brand awareness. And it's the, you know, a lot of my, I'll be honest, I wasn't a great fan. My mates read them during uni and after uni in the 90s. Right. So but they loved the books. Um, so it was really based on, on I just, I wasn't a, a fan, but I thought there was a, a, a lot of cultural a good, interest. I thought it could make money. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah, gotcha. So, uh, and, and it'd be a long slog to do this without without doing that. Uh, I, I I wasn't aware that you actually had the right, so I knew that you were involved with the production, but I didn't know you had the right. Yeah, yeah, so no, I got, yeah, 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 no. So mm, I had you it, dealt it with Bob option. himself, though. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, and Bob had um, at that time his ex literary agent i can't remember what his name was who was retired but basically yeah. the guy that that worked at a publisher that was his liaison whatever you know acted as a sort of a a, a go between you know and or acted as his business advisor i guess yeah. so we um yeah so we took out an option um it wasn't huge money but he, it was a, a little bit of um uh, a, a fee it was a, a I'm trying to remember now, I think it was a three year option. Yeah, and, the, and was that simply a, a piece of, well, I would say a piece of paper, was, was that a document that, um, that, that that he'd sort of seen before? So, you, you know, it was, it was a fairly uh, innocuous kind oh, of no. meeting with that, or was there a lot of uh, to and fro? I oh, know there was a lot of to and fro. Yeah. It, was a, it, it was a drama dealing with him and doing okay. all that. I remember, do you know what I mean? There was lots of. Um, there was, you know, you know, I had a, I had a lawyer at that stage, an entertainment lawyer. So there was option agreements and contract. There was legal costs, and you know, and then the whole thing about singers came up, and then, yep. and then there was the whole thing about um, creative control, mm -hmm. um, where he wanted creative control, mm -hmm. which basically, you know, that that was another thing that that, that sort of retarded the, you know, um, the, the growth. And then we sort of looked at, yeah, so it, it was a process. It wasn't. A smooth sort of ex experience, and then um, mm. I ended up. I mean, at that time, I was sort of you know I was full time focused on sort of doing film and TV. There was yeah. just other projects I could get up that were easier to get up. So I sort of at the end of the day, I thought, you know what, I'm going to cut my loss here yeah. and just move on. Okay, but you you never get anywhere, I suppose, if you don't take those chances and take those options while you can and and, and go through the experience yeah. of, uh, of of laying oh, look, the groundwork to get it. <laughs> even even um. You know, like you're talking about the possum lady and all that. So I went up to Bob's at Terrigal for a few visits and all that, spent yeah. the night with him. Yeah. So uh, even that, I look back fondly, sort of like, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, look, I, I still think it'd be a, um, a good project to be involved in, but it sounds like um, whoever's got the rights, if they're, if they're not having a, an open and honest upfront dialogue with you, then yes. I'd be sort of, you know, I'd be, you know, I'd be hesitant if I was you to spend too much time or effort if they won't even take a phone call. 
Yeah, I haven't tried that yet, mate. Like, I, I guess I wanted to talk to you, Jeff, uh, because you've mm. done this, and and I ha I don't really know anyone else who's who's taken out an option, especially on the on the particular, um, yep. you know, subject matter that I'm looking at. So I guess I really wanted to ask you what what do you recommend as as a as a next step? I mean, you know, I don't want to put these the, someone anyone offside. I just I just want to. Um, I know. I don't think it's a matter of putting anyone offside. I yeah. think if you want to, um, I would just be upfront and say basically you want to look at. Um, the feasibility of, of optioning, and you want to start a dialogue on, op, 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 you know, op, optioning a book, for instance. If, if you're going to say, you know, pick a book, or you wouldn't be get the quiz, or, and just say, you know, the first thing they're going to want to know is, hey, what are you going to option it for? Is there going to be money up front? Yeah. Is there going to be money in it for them? You know, so that's the question they're going to have to be willing to talk about sort of straight away. Yes. You know, we're like, you know, whether it's you know, 20 grand a year for three years or whatever it is. Yes. But you understand how sort of it, how it works with an option. You basically oh, pay for Yeah. The, for I've the done it in to, property yeah. with property before, but uh, but yeah. I imagine the film's the same. Or rights are the yeah, yeah, similar. Yeah, basically, yeah. At least. You, you're paying them a fee for the for the right to try to get the movie up. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then if it, you know, if it gets up, great. If it doesn't get up, you know, then you've got to sort of, so you've got to have an option agreement. Then you've got to have also an agreement of what happens if the movie gets up. Yeah. Uh, so, so is it two separate agreements, or is it all packaged yeah. into the one? No, it's two separate. Two agreements. separate agreements. So, what yeah. what's the name of that, please, Jeff? That that second agreement. Um, is it an assignment of rights? It basically means it, it, it's like it, the option is. It, and look, I'm not, I'm not like I said, I'm an entertainment lawyer at that stage. Mm -hmm. I don't drink so much of this. The option is basically, you know, if, in layman's terms, it's the option grants you the. The, the right to try to get the movie up. Okay. So that's what the option is. If, if you sort of think of it like that, the option grants you the right to, to make, try actually to actually make the movie. movie. No, 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 no. To try. That's why I'm saying the word try. Mm. The option the option agreement grants you the right to try to get a movie up. Then if you get the movie up, that's a different agreement. Okay. When you say get the movie up, you're, 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 you're talking about... Finance. Get the finance, Production, get the green like light. Distribution, finance. Basically two things. Is, 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 to get a movie up, if you need... Um, Have the actors. Well, not really. No, no finance and that. distribution. If you've okay. you got, you got finance and distribution, you can get the actors. Gotcha, yes. <laughs> They're the easiest ones to yes, get. Yes, I see. What's the, hardest thing, what's the hardest thing to get is, you know, say, for instance, the budget for you wouldn't be that the quiz if that's going to be three to five million bucks. Yeah. Then you need to basically have a distributor attached... Right, and a good chunk of the money. Okay, and uh, what 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 do you think, Jeff? Is the um, is uh, I guess I guess the, the the reason that 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 you didn't get things off the ground was it was it just because of the creative control or was it? Uh, no, there was the, there was the cloudiness about who owned the TV rights. So for instance, when you go to a distributor uh, to yes. get a distributor involved, yes. they want to make sure that you have every, all the rights. Uh -huh. That you're clear, and there was this cl this cloud about that Singo's had the TV rights and blah blah blah, and then I'm thinking, oh geez, I'm gonna have to take Singo to court, and yeah. then there's then there's um, Bob with his um, you know wanting um, um, you know creative control on who who got cast as Les Norton. Right. That's another thing that was sort of like um, basically the people the people that put up the money in the distribution yes. they want to have that sort of control because they're putting up. Three to five million dollars. Right. So, so they want to make sure, you know. Um, I remember even at the stage, sort of like I think, you know, I approached David Wenham, yes. and Bob hated David Wenham. Right. You know, David Wenham can't play fucking Les Norton. Right. And it's like, <coughs> this is before yeah. he worked out for the three hundred movie, was it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, at that stage, you've done a, a lot more sort of independent art, art films, I guess. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Like Australian sort of like. Um, so Bob hated the idea of David Wenham, okay. know, where I thought that was a great idea, and I knew that I could trigger some money from yes. Screen Australia. Yeah, sure. you know, but you know, Bob thought it, Bob wanted to, you know, Bob basically wanted uh, he wanted to be very, very true to the books. So, mm -hmm. so you know, so they, they they were the sort of the issues and all that. Because obviously Look, Bob had an image in his mind as well, you know, when he was yeah, writing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, gotcha. All right, and um, and I guess the popular or the cultural belief behind the the, the, the movie that you tried to get off the ground was that it, it didn't fly because of you know you couldn't find the actor to suit or to to, to please Bob. Was that is that did that have something to do with it? No, like I said, at the end of the day, it was more. It, 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 it was that the, was just one the of rights. the issues. No, it, it, it was the it was 
the cloudiness of it was it was more like oh this is just going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> it became yeah. a real pain in the ass to work on. Okay, so it became um, clear to you that there was going to be at some juncture some some legal discussion from with Singer. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so so and that became a you know and um and uh, actually I remember getting a letter. That's right. I think, and I think that they basically sent a letter, not quite a cease and desist, but something similar to it. So it's like okay, so there's going to be a legal drama. Right. <clears throat> I can't. Um, so would, would there not have been some? I mean, it was a long time ago the... now. My, yeah, it's a long time ago now. My memory. Yeah. I mean, literally, we're talking. Yeah. Geez, what was it? Two thousand four. Fourteen years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And as you said, you had a, you did have a, a lawyer there with you at the time. Um, but would there not have been some onus on the option provider that 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 that, that they had the ability to sell you what? you were intending to purchase yeah no no exactly i think you're exactly right there so i think that was a great issue too about well why did you sign the rights away if you don't have the rights sort of thing and yeah okay okay so, so all that sort that of stuff going on too Interesting. but mate like i said I'm no sounds very out, king's um, cross early. <laughs> yeah i i just remember thinking that other at the, at the time i had other movies that i thought I should, I should focus my resources and attention to that and you did very well with those too well done and it sounds like you you got some other business um, expanding too, mate. New new stuff. That's great. Yeah, well, I really don't do the film and TV stuff anymore, yeah. mate. You know, got married, had kids, mortgage. Yeah. It was just a bit hard to make a steady living. And you're you know, in the in the marketing area, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in awesome. Media. Yeah. Well, that's 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 only going to grow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I've um I've uh, I've taken up enough of your time. I really appreciate you calling back and. Uh, I hope, um, no I hope we can, can look, continue dialogue. Get in touch if you want. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. That'd be great. I'd like to, I'd like, I'd like to I, let I, you know how it's going. Learn from, learn from my mistake, though. Flush out. Just be upfront and say, look, this is my intention. You yes. know, just, you know, I've got good intentions. Um, uh, you know, obviously, you're, you're, you're a fan of the books. You've read the books. Yeah, you I'd could, actually um, like the whole process to be done by fans, including the writing and the, you know, the whole thing, if possible. I mean... You know, yeah. I don't want a fan to do it if they're not good at it. But um, but if they've yeah. got the skills, I'd I'd love to have the the fans' input, so that we we know that it's going to be a movie made by fans for fans, um, and then you know. Yeah, no, I would say that to them. I'd say you've got you know the best the best intentions. You want to keep true to Bob's vision of of um of his work, and, not, and um not you want to know other, you know other other <laughs> <laughs> other rights uh, other rights available. Basically, you'd like to you know. And yeah. then put, sort of put them in, you know, say, I'd like to, you know, talk about in good faith, negotiate or enter into discussions yeah. about about um, getting an option. And then you'll, you'll basically flush that out, whether they're, you know, if they're interested and they're sincere, and then, then you can start the discussions. They right. say, yes, give us a buzz, I can help you with how those yeah. discussions go. Yeah. So instead of trying to continue to build some sort of rapport with this lady, I should just, just put all the cards on the table and say, this one I do. And that'll at least um, that'll at least flush her out and, and, and see whether she's whether she's got something else in the pipeline or not. Um, she can tell yeah. me that you know she's. Bound. I would be upfront and honest and say, yeah, look, yeah, you yeah. Know, um, you know, say you've got, you know, say you've got connections in the film industry. You've yeah. got some experience yourself. You've spoken to some producers. You, know, you feel like you could get it. You know, tell them your intentions. Yes. To find out if you know, otherwise you can just get strung along for the next year. Yeah, exactly, mate. Yeah, I got to got to find some 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 real uh, direction and purpose like you did, I guess. Just just yeah, I guess you had a few things going, a few eggs in uh, a few baskets, and you just went with the the things that were going to pay off in the end. Yes. Yeah. And I just got to ask before you go: Is it? Um, it, it do you think it'd be wise, and based on what you say, do you have to put a a clause in in any legal contract that that might come about? Uh, you know, asking you know the 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 owner of the rights to to um, declare that that they do in, in fact have the rights available to yep. sell you to that. Well, I'm pretty much we had that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we had that but in our agreement. Still the cra- there's still that cloudiness. That's no good. Yep. Mm. So I think we. I'm pretty sure we in our agreement we you know there's a, the clause that says you hereby state that you have all the rights to this, 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 and this. Mm. Yep. But yeah. yeah. Found, found yeah. it or not, Sing, Singleton's just put put trying to put the kibosh on it. Um, yeah. yeah. 
Well, in, in one, you know, all they were saying they would have to negotiate with them on the top, on, you know, because they had the TV rights, and then it just became too oh, messy. Okay. Right. Well, if you ever, ever get down to Sydney, give, give me a buzz, we'll grab a coffee, we'll chat all things. I would, uh, I would love that. That'd be great. Yeah, no, I'd be up for it. Thanks for calling me. I really appreciate it, Jeff. No worries. Okay. All Thank right. you, mate. Cheers and good luck. All right. Good luck to you too, mate. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Well, you don't get uh, much more from the horse's mouth than that. Someone who's been there and done that. Jeff Purser has tried to make a movie regarding a Les Norton character, or at least um, a book from Robert G. Barrett. He's purchased the options, uh, purchased the option to for the rights to the film, and um, he's been shut down by John Singleton, who does own a couple of movie rights as well as um, uh, as all of the TV rights to the character Les Norton. So what's the, the way forward? How do we go about bringing Les Norton from the pages of a book to the big screen, knowing that in the past the owners of the rights haven't been forthcoming with um, you know who's got what rights uh, already, and um, John Singleton just wanting to shut down everyone who's who's doing anything to do with Les Norton or a Robert G. Barrett book. Where do we go from here? Can you please leave me a comment down below here if you've got any suggestions on which way to go next? Uh, should we just keep pressing for uh, the rights, trying to get the rights? Um, you know, what's what's a reasonable amount to, to be paying for the option to the, the, the rights to, to make the movie if we can get off the ground? Um, should we just make uh, a movie about the character of Les Norton without a name so that fans know who it is but it doesn't breach any copyright laws uh, what's 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 the options do you think please do leave me a comment uh, just down below so that we can uh, take some next steps together to make this a reality